Hey, hey, good people, how you doing? David Taub here with Epic Guitar Instruction. Hope all is going well, and I hope your guitar and musical journeys are going famously. Today you're going to learn the song Ring of Fire, written by June Carter Cash and Merle Kilgore, and made famous, of course, by Johnny Cash in 1963. It's a really fun song to play, and there's only three chords, and, you know, like a lot of country-type songs, same kind of cowboy chords you're probably used to playing, but the difference is in the style of music is with the strumming. It's a little bit more complex and it's faster. And there's only three parts to this song because a lot of the parts just repeat over and over. There's the intro, which is that horn part, the kind of mariachi influence part, which I'm going to show you how to play on guitar. And then there's verses and choruses. And the song is in standard A440 tuning. So go ahead and tune your guitars low to high, E, A, D, G, B, and E. And like in a lot of country songs, this song is fast. It's about about 207 beats per minute so you know you're gonna have to get the strum patterns and the changes down but practice them slow and I'll show you them slow and then you work them up to speed and the whole songs in 4-4 time and the three chords you're gonna need are just a G major C major and a D7 chord and if you could do me a favor, please subscribe to the channel. You know, subscribing to the channel, that really helps us to keep the content coming, as well as then you'll be notified when we have new lessons posted. Leave a comment below. Let us know how you like this lesson. Let us know what lessons you'd like to see coming up in the future. And if you like the video, please click the like button. Give it a thumbs up, share it, and thank you so much for your support. As far as song structure-wise, the song starts with that horn intro, right? Um, and that goes right into verse one, the uh, love is a burning thing. Um, there's actually two verses in the song. They're both the same. And verse 1 goes right into the chorus section. The chorus is that I fell into a burning ring of fire. Um, and that chorus repeats three times in the song, three choruses. They're all the same. The third chorus, the only difference is he does a double chorus where he repeats the chorus twice. But the progression is the same. The only other thing in there is after the first chorus, he goes back to that horn intro. They do it a little bit differently, which I will show you when we get to it. And they do it two times. That's it. That's the whole song. And then the outro just repeats that last line of the chorus. And that's it. Let's start with the horn intro part. Starts off the song, and then I'll go in on a tight shot and explain it. It'll sound like this. Our first three intervals. Okay, so what you're doing is my second finger's on the eighth fret on the B string on that G note, and my first finger's on the B note on that seventh fret of the high E string. Then the next one, you just kind of slide up, use your third finger, and leave your first finger down on that first string and just slide that up a half a step. See how I do it? The first finger is going to stay down for this. So the second interval is on the 10th fret of the B and the 8th fret of the high E. And then slide that up both one fret or a half step. So now I have 11 B and 9 high E. Go up another half step, so now 12, 10. I do down, down, up, up, down. On that interval. And then one hit up here, way up here. I'm up here at the 13th fret on that C note on the B string, 12th fret on the high E. So slow so far, you have this. And the last two, Go back, 10th fret, 8th fret, and then up a whole step, and end on the 12th fret B string, 10th fret G string. Hold things slow. And then the second part of that is this. Okay, on that, I'm here now at the 8th fret and the 7th fret, like we started on, 8th fret of the B on that G note, seventh fret on the B note of the high E. Down, down, up, up, down, same thing again, then bring that up like we did in the first one. One hit, 10th fret B, eighth fret uh, on the high E. Then go take that and bring that down to the seventh and fifth frets, seventh on the B, fifth high E. Then take that, and then you're going to go back to the first one we started with on the 8th fret and 7th fret on the B and high E. Both together slow, you get this. First one, here's your second one. And the chords that are played underneath 
the horn intro. So um, if you have two guitars, one could be doing the horn part, the other one can be doing the chords. And let me show you that. It'll sound like this and then I'll go back and explain it. I'll play it slow. strumming and rhythm patterns we can keep it consistent we'll use three bass patterns that will get you through the whole song this is all you need to know as far as the strumming and rhythm the bass pattern that'll work through most of the song is down 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 up down up okay you want to get that down all right now uh, there's going to be some times when we're going to need to add a little extra onto it. So we're going to do down, 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 up, down, up, down, down. All right? Because you're splitting the strum in between two chords in that particular measure. So down, 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 up, down, up, down, down. Down, 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 up, down, up, down, down. Okay? And then the third one is just down, down. Because there's going to be some times, especially on that C chord and that D7, where you're just going to be hitting it for two hits, two downs. That's all the rhythm patterns. What we're going to be doing a little bit different to try to give the song a little bit more of a country flair is on the first down stroke, we're going to be just hitting the low root note, the lowest string, or the lowest two strings. It doesn't have to be exact. For instance, like on that G chord, right? So if we do that strum down, down, notice on the first down, I just hit the low E string, down, 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 up, down, up. Uh, it kind of just breaks that strum up. So down, low, think of it as like part chord, then whole chord, down, down. And again, you don't necessarily just have to hit the one string on these chords. You could hit the low two. It doesn't have to be exact, right? Down, 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 up, down, up. Part, whole, down, up, down, up. Part chord, whole chord, down. And for instance, like on the C chord in the chorus, we're on that longer, same thing. See, I'm just hitting that A string, or you can hit the A and the D, down, 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 up, down. So what I'm doing in that intro is on the G chord, down, 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 up, down, up, then switch to the C just for two downs, down, down, then back to the G chord, down, 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 up, down, up. And again, we're doing that strum, low root note chord, or part chord, whole chord, right? And that G you do three times. So, so far you get this. G, C, just for two downs, and then back to your G. Two, and the last one. Then go to that D7, just for two, like you did with the C chord. And then back to G, for two measures. You're probably going to want to do that part if you don't have another guitar player or you don't have the horns playing. I know I showed you the horn part because it's kind of fun and if you have two guitars, why not, right? But you'll probably just be playing the chords, so you would do something like that for the intro. And if you're having some challenges changing these open chords in time, right, uh, as you're doing your strumming, I could really help you with that. Click on the link in the YouTube description box below. I'll send you my essential chord changing technique tips and exercises video. So much about proper chord changing and getting in time is having that right fret hand technique, right? And this lesson is killer. It's all about that. It's extended play. It's not on YouTube. And I'll pair it with an ebook too, which has more card charts in it, more lessons, more exercises. The video lesson's loaded with exercises too. It's killer. Send it both to you for free. Video lesson and ebook, just click on that link below. Which leads right into verse one. Love is a burning thing and it makes a fiery ring. Let me play you the whole progression for the verses, and then I'll go back and explain it. It'll sound like this, right from the love is a burning thing. It's a 
little com complicated when to do the two downs, when not to do them, because he's doing them at different times. But you'll be following the vocal line a lot. Or like I said earlier, you'll be following, you could follow that horn line if you're playing along with the song. But following the vocal line really helps you to understand where you put those, like accenting on that C, or going to the C and the D7. Let me play it for you slow, it'll sound like this. Let me break this down. Let me tell you the change over the vocal line first, and then I'll go back and explain what we're doing strumming-wise, just so you know when to change. So it's G's, the love is a burning. On burning, you go to that C thing, back to the G, and then you're changing again, C to G, and it makes a fiery, when it goes to fiery, you go to the D7, ring, G. Then you go D7 again, G. The next line starts, which is bound, my wild, you go to the C, desires, back to the G, and then again it changes C to G. Um, I fell into a, and you're on that G, I fell into a ring D7, this time it's only once, D7 to G, and you play the G twice. So, on the G chord, first one, the love is a burning thing. Down, 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 up, down, up, down, down. Then you go to the C for two down strokes. Down, down. Back to the G, down, 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 up, down, up, back to the C again, down, down, back to the G, down, 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 up, down, up, and you do the G three times. And then after those three times on the G, you do another down, down on the G, like we did on the first line, and then D7, twice, two downs, and then back to the G, down, 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 up, down, up, back to the D7, just like we did on the C. And then G, down, 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 up, down, up, twice. And then it goes to the second line, which is bound by wild desire. That line, you start the same way. Down, 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 up, down, up, down, down. Wild, two times on the C. Desires, down, 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 up, down, up. Back to the C, two downs. G for three. One more. Right? And then this time, right to the D7. You don't do the down, down. And then G for two. It only does that D7 once. All right? And you'll get this. You'll get in the swing of it. It's just going to take a little bit to get used to, you know, when you're doing the extra two hits and when you're not. And that goes right into the chorus. The chorus, I fell into a burning ring of fire. I went down, 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 and the flames went higher. Let me play it for you, and then I'll go back and explain it. It'll sound like this. With the vocal line, it's basically a D7 chord, I, two measures, I fell into a C, burning ring of fire, you go to the G, then you go back to the D7, you repeat the progression, D7, I went down, 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 and the C, flames went G, higher, and then G again, and it burns, 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 two times on the G, the ring of fire, that's D7 ring of fire G, the ring D7 of fire, G. Uh, the All first right. uh, two vocal lines, it's just straight down, 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 up, down, up, two times on the D7. C, G. Then you repeat it, D7. When it goes to the and it burns, 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 you do two times on the G. Down, 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 up, down, up, down, 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 up, down, up, down, down, to the D7, two downs. Down, down, back to the G for fire. Down, 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 up, down, up, down, down, D7, down, down, G. Down, 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 up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, two times. 
right? Very similar to the verses. That's the chorus, and that's chorus one, chorus two, exactly the same. Chorus three, you just do that whole thing twice, right? Um, so you have intro, verse one, chorus one, then it goes into the interlude section, which is basically just the intro, that horn part, plays it a little bit differently. Same intervals, but what he does the second time in the interlude, he plays the line, that they play the line, you leave off the, right? You leave off the first three, and it just starts off with that, on that uh, 12th fret and 10th fret. Um, and then the other thing that's different is he plays it two times instead of just one time. If I play it slow, you don't do that lead in, and you just start it at the 12th and the 10th fret. Right? And then the second part is like the same thing he did in the intro. And then he repeats it the exact same way uh, again. Right? And that's it. And that, after the interlude, it goes back into the chorus, second chorus, I fell into a burning ring of fire. So to get out of the song, at, at the end of the song, you do the double chorus, and then all he does is he repeats that one line, and it burns, 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 the ring of fire, 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 right? Uh, it just keeps repeating on that part. Um, and that basically just... And then, um, so I'm basically just doing that G down, 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 up, down, up, down, down, ring, two downs on that D7 chord, fire. Back to the G. He says that like four times. He fades out. The way you could end that is just the last time. Right? Maybe slow it down a little bit on that G. D7. Just hit the G for one hit, let it ring, and you're done. I hope you enjoyed this lesson. Really fun song to add to your song catalog. Enjoy it. And uh, don't forget, subscribe to the channel. That really helps us to keep bringing the content as well as then you'll be notified when you have new lessons up. So you'll want to subscribe because I got a lot of killer lessons coming. Don't want you to miss anything. Also, click on that link in the YouTube description box below. Get my free video lesson and ebook on essential chord changing technique tips. It's packed with exercises and tips and lessons. It's a killer one-two combination. It's not on YouTube. Click below, I'll send it to you for free. Thank you so much for checking out this lesson and thank you so much for your support over the years and years. Stay tuned, I got tons of killer content coming. Keep up all that hard work on those guitars. Keep having fun with them and remember, your guitar playing is an evolution. So enjoy the journey. Take care, rock on. See you in the next lesson.